Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to derive the equation for the entropy or average information content of a symbols in a long independent sequences. Basically, entropy is defined as the average information per message or you can say average information per symbol. Let us consider the zero memory source producing a independent sequences of symbols. What is zero memory? The next symbol doesn't depend on previous symbol. For example, if you are sitting on the keyboard, you will type properly. If a monkey is sitting on the keyboard, it will never remember what it has pressed in the previous. So the next key, what it is pressing, doesn't depend on the previous key. We coin remember for a zero memory. Tossing a coin, space you have a head and tail you will get probabilities are half if I throw 10 times the toss how many times you may get a head 5 times because 50 50 percentage is there similarly let us consider the another example say I have a A and B probabilities are 1 by 256 255 by 256 if I Experiment this 256 times. How many times I'll get a, a? Hardly one time. How many times I'll get a B? 255 times. And now, in general, let us consider I have S1, S2, P1, P2. And suppose these are generated S1, S2 continuously for a long period of transmission, a sequence of n symbols. And now, on an average, how many S1 will be there? See, equiprobable means n by 2. Now, these are not equiprobable. One is P1, another is P2. How many S1 might have transmitted? How to find out? Total are n. What is the probability? P1. So, I will get the n into P1 times. Similar, what about uh, S2? How many I will get? On an average, I can say P2 into total are n. Now, let us consider source alphabet S1, S2 up to SQ. Their respective probabilities are P1, P2, P3 up to PQ. And let us consider a long independent sequence of length L symbol. L symbols are generated. This long sequence then contains how many S1 will be there, how many S2 will be there. It depends on their probability as well as total how many symbols I am generating. Now, P1 into L, total L symbols, what is the probability? P1. P1 into L, those many S1 will be there. Similarly, can you tell remaining? P2 into L, number of messages of type S2, up to PQ into L, number of messages of type SQ. Just pause here, if you want to copy down, try to understand. We know that. Uh, information or a self information is given by i equal to log 1 by p. Consider the previous probabilities. Now, if I have a S1 symbols, how many 5 I have? What is the total information? Usual procedure what we do? Simply we add that 5 times or simply we multiply with a 5. Both answer will get same. Now, S1 probability is P1 and information is I1, how I represent. The total S1 symbols in the sequence are how many? P1 into L. These are total count. Now, per symbol, what is the information? We have an equation, log 1 by P. Simply multiply that into this. So, that total information due to S1 we will get. Then, the P1 into L number of messages of S1 contains how much? bits log 1 by p1 we know for 1 totally how many are there p1 into l so total will become these many bits you can pause and uh, try to understand now similarly let us go to p2 and p3 like that now p2 into l number of messages of s2 contains how many bits log 1 by p2 for each symbol, total how many symbols are there? P2 into L. Just multiply. Like that, up to, we can write PQ into 
L. So these are all individual now. Now if I want the total self information including all the symbols or message symbols then I can write I total equal to P1 into L log 1 by P1 plus P2 into L log 1 by P2 up to what? PQL into log 1 by PQ. Those many bits. Now, L is common everywhere. I am taking L out and I can write PI log 1 by PI. I varies from 1 to Q. Average self information. These are the total. No, I want average. How many are the total symbols? L are there. Average means divided by L I have to do. When I take divided by L, so this L and divided by L will cancel. What I got get entropy equal to PI log 1 by PI bits per message symbol. I varies from 1 to Q. On an average, we can expect H of S bits of information per symbol in a long messages from the information source. H of S is called as average uncertainty or also called as average amount of surprise of the particular source. Thanks for watching this video. For more information, use these links. And if you like this video, share with your friends. Thank you.